back in the building. We are. Um, first of all, we've seen you guys' comments on our last videos. We're sorry. We know we took a while out. We're not gonna. This video ain't gonna drop in Although, June. No, this. When you see the last videos, there's a video already dropped. Oh yes, before good that. After that last video, so this one's probably gonna be the third either way. Yeah, but either way, they've already had one. We've seen the comments. Yeah, you guys yeah, are yeah. hilarious. We're sorry. We're talking about the video we dropped first this yeah. year, not the last one. So we're talking about the video where we're winter wear. Winter wear. So yeah, winter, winter wear. That's it. Yeah. See, we dropped that literally three days ago, and we're filming it again, guys. We're here. We're, con we're, we're we're going to be consistent. One hundred percent. Yes, 100%. as consistent as possible with life and business. <laughs> but we're going to be here. We're in the building. Anyway, yeah, we're in the building again, guys. We're here to do a. I don't know. Should, is this a style salute of sorts? Do you know what? Or... This is. It's a style salute. The question was asked in a different format, but mm. essentially, this is a style salute. But we're gonna, yeah, because it's a style salute. What we do is we, yeah. we salute and we break down the style. So cool. that's exactly what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna read the question because it's a, a bit of a lengthy question. And it's in the first person to ask this. We've heard this question quite a few times over the course of a few videos. Yeah. So you've asked. We've listened. It's on. And we're here. Yeah. Cool. So. um Hi gents, I have a few questions for you boys, followed by a melty message. Sue me. I'm not going to sue anyone. No, it's all right. Um, would love. He asked a few things, but we had to break it down for the sake of time in a video. Would love to see a Peaky Blinders inspired episode. Um, the suit styles, materials, shirt styles too, plus um, some more focus on footwear in general would be grand. It would be grand indeed. Cool. Um, yeah, we've, we've got a lot more that we're gonna cover this year, guys. Not just suits, we're gonna talk about everything. Everything we can. All right, so last last part of the question. I'm a big fan, love the videos, I've learned so much. I'm a 26 year old dashing Yorkshireman, as he says so himself, uh, making my way in London in a new job that I love, but I can't afford to shop by more to more just yet. People always say that. He hasn't asked us how much we cost yet. But anyway, we're here, we're here. Um, through though the day I can afford my first tailor suit, it'll be from you lads, no doubt. Kindest Callum. regards, Callum. Callum, we welcome you. Thank you, So, Callum. yeah, and even if you're not in a position where you feel like you can afford a more and more suit, we do shirts too. Oh, yeah. We also do just cufflinks. Yeah. So, there's other things that we can help you with, but all in due course, when you're ready, we're here. And that goes to everybody. All of you guys. Yeah. All right. So I Josh. I love, love that question. I love it. And I love I love all the sentiments and the I don't know who you call them. The the compliments. Yeah. That wasn't the word I was looking for. Alright. So Josh, take it away. Let's talk about Peaky Blinders. Yes. Peaky Blinders, look, so first of all, Callum, thank you for the question. Amazing. Love the sentiments. We appreciate it. Yes. And for everyone else out there, look. Let me just quickly say, before we get into the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We appreciate every single thing you do for this video, everything you do for this community. We read all the comments, the videos, the comments on that, the winter wear video ones, that was, they, those are making me laugh, but that's, that's all good. We're back in the building, and the answer, right? I love Peaky Blinders, mm -hmm. I actually really do. I think the first time I'd heard about the show was, I think it was from you, you told me about it. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll check it out. I'll watch it, why not? People wearing suits, people looking good, looking sharp. Why not? It's all about tailoring. So I watched it. It's I like the storyline. It's not oh, about tailoring, shit. but I love the storyline. I, I like the storyline. I like the acting. I like, I just like it. I like the production. I think it's, it's on point. Um, I had no idea who the Peaky Blinders were until mm -hmm. I saw this show. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, let's go into it. Style Salute. So the Style Salute is going to be pretty much for the whole show. It's not really going to be for anyone in, partic into, in particular. Although I do really like the way Thomas Shelby dress dresses. Of course, yeah. Thomas Shelby dresses well. But so does Arthur though. Arthur comes through. Do you Arthur know what though? I've forgotten his name. What's the, what's the younger son? Uh, the younger brother? Uh, uh, the one who's, who's real temperamental. I don't know. I'm only up to um, the second. I've only just started the second season. Yeah, That's the, the younger them. brother, he's in there. So there's the three of them. Oh, so it's Tommy, Arthur, and he's got the blonde hair. I can't remember his name. Yeah. John Shelby. I love John's outfits. And I was going to say, you know what? I think he's got the best outfits. But 
can I give you? Because you're you're actually you're too far behind for me to. Doesn't give mean, spoilers. I'm, I'm gonna watch it. Uh, nothing spoils Tommy's, it for me. Tommy's son. Okay. Michael. Okay. He comes in, and he is dapper. So I give him fit wise, and he's he's more of a he's more of a gentleman with it. I've just seen another kid coming called Michael. That's Polly's son. Is, it, is his name Michael? Yep. Is it Polly's son? No, Polly's son. The one he goes at, like she, she got he got taken away from him when he was young. Maybe no, it's a cousin. sorry, Tommy's cousin. Yeah, yeah, it's Polly's son. Polly's yeah. son, Michael. Tommy's son. cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, Michael. Yeah. Yes, him. I've seen he, him. I've seen him. He, Second season. He is dapper. He is. He's sharp. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. they even comment on it because they when they when the cousins first re see him again, like Arthur and and John see him again, they're like, oh, nice suit. They laugh at him as they walk off. Yeah. Well, his suit is actually really nice. Yeah. So, and they're taking the Mickey out of him, but. I know. I like the I like the wardrobe. One hundred percent. Love the wardrobe. So, the question triggered me to do a bit more research into who these Peaky Blinder guys are, right? So, the Peaky Blinders are actually real, right? There actually was a gang called the Peaky Blinders in the late eighteen hundreds up until the, the early nineteen hundreds, and they were based out of the East Midlands. Is it well, Birmingham, Birmingham? Birmingham East Midlands, yeah. right? So, based out of Birmingham, and they one of the one of the biggest gangs out there. Now, their name, Peaky Blinders, right? There's loads of speculation as to where it comes from. There's a common opinion. The common opinion is that they used to sew in razor blades into the, the peak cap, right? And because of, and with them, with the, sorry, they used to sew in razor blades into the peak cap. Now, what they would do is they would headbutt their enemies or their rivals, or whatnot, and that would cause blood to stream down their face, therefore blinding them. Peaky Blinders. That was one theory. However, it's not proven. The other, another theory was they simply just slashed their foreheads to blind them and because they were wearing peaky peak caps and peaky blinders. Now, another opinion, which I like the most, is that peaky stands for the peak caps and blinders is Birmingham slang for dapper, dressing well. Oh, call blind me. You look blind. That's a blinder. You look amazing. Peaky yeah. blinder. Pick but, whichever you want. Yeah, but also then in the show, they also show them... With the razors in the hat, they take the hats off and they will just slice you with the hat. This is it. So I guess I guess then that's that, the that is the one. second that's one. The second one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So either way, pick whichever one you want. But they they are the Peaky Blinders. Even now, though you don't forget the name. You don't forget the name, and you don't forget them because from what I hear is it was uncommon for gangsters and gangs to dress well back then. It was uncommon. So when you saw a Peaky Blinder, you knew who they were. You knew they were a Peaky Blinder because they dressed well. They dressed very particularly. They wore tailored clothes. A lot of people back then were, were not wearing tailored clothing, right? So they wore tailored clothing, tailored suits. They had waistcoats on, three pieces. They had pocket watches. They had, obviously, the flat cap. They had bell-bottom trousers. A lot um, of greys and browns and so, isn't it? That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, like, in the show, I've only noticed them wear three colours. Mm. Grey, black, blue. Okay. Some people, I mean, I've seen other commoners wear brown, but, I mean, the actual... Yeah, you're right. Shelby's, I've only ever seen them in grey, black and blue. And mostly grey. And mostly grey. The suits are yeah. mostly grey, and then maybe they have, like, a blue tie. And a lot of tie. checks. Not, not che- really planes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of herringbone, and, mm. like, the fabrics tend to be flannel or, like, a tweed, right? Like, a heavyweight fabric. You Which makes sense. Looks, Birmingham, Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham, cold time, war times. So it's set after what? It's set after what? Just after World War One. That's where Tom and Shelby and them have just come back from the war. They're all a bit messed up. Mm. Um, so that's the time period. They're all dressed very sharp. I think the only thing that's a bit out of place is the leather boots. They've got these big leather boots that they wear, but I think it's because they're still cap boots, right? I think it's because it was rainy and wet up there all the time, so it was more functional than anything. But either way. These guys dress sharp. Yeah, I love the way they dress. Um, we've got clients who love the way they dress. We've got clients who, yeah, um, you'll even see. We'll probably add it into the video. Client, you see on their background in their office that they've got pictures of Peaky Blinders, and one of them even wants long coat inspired by Thomas Shelby. Yeah. So um, yeah, they're, they're, people love their look. So if you haven't heard of Peaky Blinders, you've been under a bit of a rock. Cause <laughs> the show's been out for a while. Um, that's unfair but, that's unfair I know, but, come I know. On. but if you <laughs> love your TV. dapper styling and so forth anyway maybe not as much as we do but if you love it you probably come across Peaky Blinders if check not, out Peaky Blinders you're probably not from the UK either so. yeah well this is the thing I mean look yeah. if, if you're based in the UK you may have seen Peaky Blinders on the BBC or you may see it now on Netflix those are the two places you, from in the UK you can check it I mm-hmm. don't know for the rest of the world but search Peaky Blinders on your streaming platforms check it out now there's one thing I, 
I don't want to gloss over. Okay. That, um, which I feel like is still slightly relevant to today, so what people like, um, is, is the shirts. Okay. A lot of people oh, yeah, keep asking point. about these shirts, right? The shirts with the detachable collars, right? Now, what, what's I call them? What are they called? Tunics. And no, tunics a shirt. What's the name of the, sh- the starch collars? Okay. Starch. So these are starch collars, right? So more research into these collars. So now, what it is is, I don't know why they had detachable collars. Now I know barristers today wear them today. These tunic shirts where you have, where it's literally just a stub shirt here, there's nothing there, and you take the collar with metal studs, you put the stud on the front, stud on the back, and I think there's buttons on the side. I think, I can't remember. But I know there's definitely one at the front and one at the back, which fastens it. Actually, no, I'm lying. There's none at the side. There's one at the back, right? And this is how you put it on. So you attach the collar at the back to the shirt. You then put the shirt on with the back attached. You then bring it around, and the two holes on either side of the collar come to the front, and they pin to the front of the shirt with another pin and a stud, and that's it, metal studs. Now, barristers are not allowed to wear, or not supposed to wear, collars in court. Mm-hmm. So when they go to court, they will then remove the collar, go into court, da 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 When they come out of court, put the collar back on to look professional, tie on, and then they'll start um, conducting business outside of court. So it allows them to not have to carry two changes of shirts, one for court, one for outside, just makes it more functional. This is it. Now, this is why they call it starch collars. I didn't even know this before. Now I know. Learning. This is why they call it starch collars, right? So these, the collars, right? So what it was, was they used to starch the collars to their like, stiff, hard cardboard, right? But obviously, what you'd find is that like, if you're starching, say, for example, a normal shirt like this, and you're putting starch continuously on this collar, you're going to mess up the whole shirt. So what they would do is, they would have the detachable collar, they would dip it in, let's say for example it's already been starched before, what they'll do is they'll put it in hot water, rinse it in hot water, wash, rinse it in hot water, get all the starch out of it, cool, they've scrubbed it, got it out, then they'll wash it normally, put it in the laundry, once it comes out of the laundry, they then dip it into a warm, concentrated starch solution, again, put more starch back into it, and then they leave it to dry, now before it's completely dry, it says a little bit damp, they'll then iron it, until it gets extremely hard, extremely hard, and then they put it back on the wow. again. And is that collars. something they still do today? I don't think so. I yeah. actually don't think they do. I don't think people start collars at all anymore like that. Because I remember when I was growing up, um, yeah. I think they got banned. Maybe it was the whole, was it CFC in the sprays and whatnot? Ozone, My yeah. mum yeah. used to, yeah, the ozone layer stuff. My mum used to have um, a can of starch <laughs> in, in, in her laundry basket. So Same. used to starch a lot of stuff, but obviously they don't, they don't do that anymore. So I don't know if it's needed because I know when it comes to our shirts we have a, a canvassing of sorts inside the collar yeah. so when the clients come in they can choose whether they want their collar to be soft medium or hard and then the shirt stays that stiffness so maybe these days it's just a case of the same thing for, for those type of collars maybe we'll have to ask some of our barrister friends exactly what, what they the they start them yeah I don't yeah. know I actually don't know I doubt it though I fully doubt it they mm. go through that process I mean this day it's and a age, long process people want things fast yeah. people don't even like to polish their shoes and take time to polish their shoes these days so. people don't even like to iron their shirts they'll put on put a on. shirt and then a jumper it'll do they'll it'll do, do. Yeah. Yeah. they can't see it <laughs> they can't see it yeah. yeah so exactly so the starch collars were a big big look and a lot of people keep asking what are these collars can I get them yes you can we can do them we can do tunic shirts why you want them I don't know maybe just mm. for the look it looks cool it does look I mean I must admit it does look cool but yeah the collars pretty nifty as much as their stuff was tailored it's very different to today's tailoring it wasn't super fitted they they would have overcoats whereas what you may see us wearing are more body coats because they're more fitting whereas the overcoats are just the looser flaring um Overcoat the the stuff that you'd see um, older gents with these days when it's winter. I do like so, that. Yeah, so it's like, it, like it, it yeah. gives you that nice. It'll keep you warm, but it's not restrictive. Yeah. I Whereas like I like a good fit. I, I like I like it to hug me, and I know I'm wearing it. I agree but, with you, but I mean, yeah. I like the look of an overcoat. I like the, the overcoat looks so good. That mm-hmm. it, it reminds me of when I was growing up. I see all the older guys that always just work in the city wearing suits and have an overcoat, a smart one. It's that big overcoat. It just yeah. reminds me. It, it takes me back to that era. That's all it is. But I like it. Yeah. I don't have one yet. I need to get one. No, I don't have one. I, I think I need a few more body coats, and then maybe I'll get an overcoat. But I, I like. I like. Look, it works for some people, especially if you're the type of person who doesn't like everything fitted. 
overcoat, fantastic. And, you know, not a lot of people know that there's differences between overcoats, body coats, top coats, all sorts. Um, some of them are the same, different naming, but there's different ways for naming a coat. And so what the Peaky Blinders traditionally wear would be the overcoat. 100%. And, I, and the thing is, I think like it's it's definitely fitting for them. They fight all the time. That's what they're into. They're, they're gangsters. So mm. they're, they're constantly getting into brawls and stuff. So having clothes that are just stuck to their skin probably is not the best for them. Yeah. And so Plus, it just wasn't the style. It wasn't a style back then. Mm. It wasn't a style back then. And yeah, it's not like they're swimming in fabric. It's just not... Tight. Yeah. Tighter. That's what it is. But I like it. I like the style. I like the era. I like the show. Yeah. What more can I say? It, it probably glamorizes a lot of what they go through. Um, but it's a great show. That's what TV is for. It's for entertainment purposes. If they told the true story of the Peaky Blinders, would probably be it wouldn't last season more than season one because it would be boring. Yeah, it would be. But it's a great show. It's great styling. Is very. I hope it's very authentic in terms of the look. But you look at it and you can tell you're watching something from the 1900s. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Salute, salute to you, Peaky Blinders. Salute to great you, wardrobe. the Shelby's. Yeah, great cast and great, great wardrobe. I love it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Was there? Am I wrong in saying was there somebody in there? There's some female tailoring in there as well, isn't there? Oh, I've not seen it. I'm trying to remember. I've I feel not like seen it. Somebody females were in a sick suit. Was um was Grace the first, the police officer in the first season? Was Grace. she wearing tailoring? I can't remember. It's been a long time since I watched the first season. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, but either way, I should know this. If you don't watch it already, watch the show. Fantastic. There you go. I'm All done. Right. We're done. All right, guys. So we hope you found this episode informative, interesting, and entertaining. If that's two different things it might be the same but hey Um, yes and as Joshua said at the beginning of the video if you haven't already please make sure that you subscribe like comment and share make sure you leave any comments in the comment lock box below you can also send us any questions you have to us at ask at mortsandmore.com and if you're not already find us on various social media channels so we're on Instagram LinkedIn Twitter Facebook as well as YouTube. All right, and that's it from us for today. Guys, we'll see you next time. All right. Let's not do okay. that. So listen. <laughs> so listen.